Hello, my name is Varun Pathak and I am the implementation manager for CoFlow in CMG. In this video, we will talk about how to do a quick analysis of CCS injection networks and hubs using CoFlow. CoFlow is CMG's platform to integrate surface and subsurface modeling. We can do everything that's in the white box in a single platform, all the way from reservoir simulation to well engineering to facilities engineering and then end-to-end -end uncertainty and optimization on the whole system. It also links to geology and earth modeling packages and to flow assurance models to provide you a full solution for your CCS assets. The top applications of CoFlow are uh, high stakes onshore and offshore assets where the cost of change can be very high if you make a mistake. Another uh, application of CoFlow is CCS projects which is what we are going to focus on today. Uh, with CoFlow you can do a full integration of uh, surface facilities, wells and reservoir to give you a full integrated picture of your asset. But you can also do something simpler which is just to analyze facilities or just to analyze wells which is shown in the bottom two pictures. Today we'll focus on analysis of facilities with CoFlow and we'll look at how to do that in the software itself. So this is the interface for CoFlow and we are only looking at analyzing surface networks or hubs of CO2 injection. CoFlow has many different guided tasks where you can do specific things such as geology or reservoir engineering or geomechanics, etc. In this case, we are only focused on doing a facility modeling. So all we need is a PVT model, which is your uh, PVT properties of CO2. In this case, our fluid contains two impurities, water and methane. The properties of CO2 are designed by CoFlow using equation of state. And then you can analyze everything in the facility itself. As you open the facility, you can see that CoFlow has a number of options to populate the properties of your facility. You can drag and drop any equipment from the left hand side to the right hand side uh, layout and connect them in proper order to represent your hubs or injection networks. This is an example where we have about five sources of CO2, each with different injection conditions and different compositions. You can think of these sources that you, I'm pointing out here as maybe one of them being a fertilizer plant Another, another one, uh, maybe it's a steel plant, one more is a power plant, and they all have different rates of uh, CO2 that's coming out. You can see that the biggest source here is 1 mm TPA, and it has a pressure and temperature at the inlet of this pipe. Also, you can see the composition of this particular source is 99% pure CO2 and 1% water. There's another source here, which is a smaller source, only 0.1 mm TPA another one at the bottom here which is 0.5 mm TPA. We can look at the other sources as well and see that their compositions could be different. So all these different sources with different properties and compositions are flowing towards the right side and all merging into one manifold which is then sending CO2 and other impurities through compressors and very long pipelines towards two injection sites. You can see there are two long pipes that send uh, that sends the CO2 to subsurface locations that are located somewhere far away. But both these locations will get CO2 that's a, a combination of the CO2 that's coming out from different sources. So let's do a quick analysis and see what happens to the pressure and temperature in this system. So you can do this in a few seconds and CoFlow will calculate at each point pressure, temperature, and compositions. You can see um, the green color shows you uh, the pressure of around 1000 PSI. The blue color is around 500 or so PSI. And then there is compression here that takes the CO2 down to injection locations where it's a different pressure. You can hover over any equipment and assess the properties that are going through it. For example, at the outlet of this compressor, the pressure is about 2100 PSI and temperature is about 49 degree Fahrenheit. But then there is a long pipe here, and in this pipe, you're seeing a delta P of 34 PSI and a delta T of 11 degree Fahrenheit. You can also right click on this pipe and generate a profile plot, which is property versus distance. 
and you can quickly see how the pressure and temperature or any other property is changing in this pipe, particular pipe. So a very quick analysis right here. But the real power is to see what happens when things are changing. In reality, as you are doing your operations, your sources might not be consistent throughout the life of the project. For example, this particular source right now flowing at 1% impurity, maybe um, something happens and the water uh, treatment is affected by that and now suddenly your water is 3% instead of 1% and now it's a 97% pure CO2. We can do a quick analysis right now and see how that changes the whole picture. So this pipe here has a slightly different properties now. It has slightly different delta P and delta T now. But what will happen if this source completely goes offline for a period of time? So I can just mark it as shut in and run this case again. And now I can see the pressure distribution has changed. I can also look at temperature distribution in the system. And I can hover over this pipe and see what is the delta P and delta T now. Now because of small rate of CO2 going through the system, the delta T is quite small and delta P also is quite small. So with this example, you were able to see how quickly you can do something like this in CoFlow and you can analyze different settings, different scenarios very quickly using this approach. In the next video, we will look at how are the next steps taken. When do you build wells into the system and then couple that to a res reservoir system, which is the other example here. We will cover that in the next video. Thank you for watching.